Our four-legged friends are getting the royal treatment here. Linda, what have you created here to our right? Well, I like to call this the Kato. <laughs> um, but you know what? It's probably good for any pet 10 pounds and under. Mm -hmm. For the cushion inside the Kato, is that just already a pre-done cushion? You it just is. buy it and it's you a put travel it in there. cushion. The only thing that I did was I made a removable cover on it because mm -hmm. you never know when you mm, yeah. might have a little tiny accident <laughs> and you might want to launder the cover and, and that way you can do that and just put it right back on again. For the bottom section, you're going to need a wine crate. Now I know a lot of us don't buy in bulk where we actually have crates just sort of laying around. So what you might want to do is source places like your favorite restaurant, lounge, bar, liquor store, any of those places, ask for them to save the crates for you because often these end up in the dump. Spindles you can source at just about anywhere including Habitat for Humanity Restores. Love, love, love that store. Brand new spindle will probably cost you about $20 and you can source these used at restores, uh, flea markets, any of those kind of places, garage sales, excellent places to pick these up for a few dollars. And that's what I love about your projects is that you're money conscious about it and it's all about reusing items. Absolutely, save our landfills but make very posh things in the interim. <laughs> the other thing you're going to need is a little bit of dowel. Now the, the diameter of the dowel is up to you. You might have some laying around so use what you have mm -hmm. and then you need your fabric. And then we got this one here. Yes, we've got kind of a like sheer it. leopard skin thing. I have this thing about leopard skin. I was going to say, I'm like, Linda loves the leopard. I do, I do. <laughs> and for tools, you're just going to need a drill bit that's the same diameter as your dowel. What we're going to do is we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is drill holes in all our spindles. Now, we're going to drill them on two sides, two adjacent sides, because once we have these spindles up, we're going to have a rod that comes out this way and a rod that comes out that way. So I'm just going to hold this in place while you line yourself up and you are just going to drill straight down half an inch. Okay. All right, go for it. Beautiful. That's it. Is that about half an inch? Yeah. Ah, that was easy. Very easy. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do two sides. You're always going to do two sides right next to each other on every single spindle. Linda, we've stained the dowels. Uh, we decided to go with a little bobby on the head. Right. Liking it, liking it. We're just going to screw down our last one. We've got one more dowel to put on, or I'm sorry, one more spindle to put on. How about if I hold this in place? Okay. And I'm going to hand you one and a half inch screws. Now that is the perfect size for adding these on. Okay, next step is we're going to put our dowel on. So we've pre-cut them, we did a little bit of a sand, we stained them to match, now we're ready to rock and roll. Now, these spindles, because they're so tall, they're a little bit flexible. See how I can just pull them apart a bit? Yeah. So we'll be able to pull them apart and put the dowel in. Okay. So why don't we do that? Okay, now what you want to do is, wherever there is a piece of dowel, you're going to sew a sleeve that looks like this. So all you're going to do is fold your fabric in half just like that and stitch an inch down. That's all you need to do. There you have it. The perfect Kato. Now the only thing left is we need our little cushion in here and I don't know, I'm thinking we might need a live model posing in there. What do you think? I think so.